Whether you're a crypto enthusiast or prefer to keep Bitcoin and the like at a safe, wary distance, it's hard to deny the appeal of cryptocurrencies. Some gamers have been cashing in on the trend too. Not on GTA Online though. Watch to hear more about the cease and desist order. And stick with us to find out which leading marketplace for Solana NFTs has said it will add support for NFTs minted on Polygon. The gaming world is changing rapidly, and the rise of NFTs in game design will change the landscape even further. And the main reason for NFT and gaming is ownership. The money maker for game developers is in-game purchases. And although gamers paid for these digital assets, if a game were to experience downtime or be discontinued altogether, they would have no way to use their assets as they were only accessible within the confines of the game. Thus, players never actually owned anything that they acquired. Enter NFTs. NFTs exist independently of any individual gaming ecosystem living directly on the blockchain. As a result, whether or not a game thrives, in-game purchases in the form of an NFT can always be bought, sold, or traded on public marketplaces. Since NFTs can be displayed outside of the game they originated from, owners can use them to build a reputation as an elite gamer, collector, or degen. Gaming NFTs are part of an identity revolution that enables the owner to have a unique digital footprint. An exciting time to be a gamer! What's in it for game companies? For game Game companies, NFTs offer a whole new way to monetize their products and services. This opens up a huge new revenue stream for NFT game developers and allows them to tap into the growing market of players who are interested in investing in digital assets. For gamers, NFTs allow them to show off their achievements and progress within a game. They also provide an opportunity for them to earn real money from their hobby by trading and selling collectibles. Thanks to the emergence of Web 3.0, the gaming industry is set for even more changes and growth. NFTs will play a major role in this new era of gaming, and they are sure to have a massive impact on the future of the industry. So why is GTA so against joining the craze? Keep watching to find out. Well, until recently, users of the GTA 5 companion title GTA Online were a part of it as well, with one server in particular under the microscope, Trenches. Trenches was a role-playing server founded by rapper Lil Durk. In addition to community events and challenges, server members could buy and sell loot boxes, turning the server into a mini black market. When Rockstar announced new user guidelines for their role-playing servers, they effectively banned all blockchain products from being sold. Rockstar's new policy is so dense with technical jargon that it'll make your head spin. But the gist of it is that the company will continue to support role-play servers and hopes they thrive in a safe and friendly way. The changes made to the terms of service also clarify that Rockstar doesn't want people to associate Grand Theft Auto Online with anything that links the GTA brand with non-fungible tokens or cryptocurrency, leading to a tweet from Lil Durk confirming that Trenches, which only began in September 2022, would shut down on the 27th of November following a cease and desist from Rockstar Games. It seems that Rockstar is driving this since Take-Two Interactive previously spoke out in favor of crypto, describing it as very useful to the modern gamer with their eye on the bottom line. Rockstar didn't give an official explanation for the policy change, but it probably has absolutely everything to do with the recent press release announcing the sales of an NFT and offering access to the aforementioned exclusive GTA Online RP server. Looks like Rockstar and Take Two have decided to err on the side of caution and prevent things from escalating. It's easy to see how letting situations like this go on could be taken as Rockstar supporting NFTs and cryptocurrency. By drawing a line, Rockstar and Take Two have made it clear that they don't want people to take advantage of the success of GTA Online. And how could anyone blame them? Rockstar Games has spent years cultivating the Grand Theft Auto brand. Gamers don't have a favorable opinion of non-fungible tokens, NFTs, or cryptocurrencies. So it's understandable why the developers didn't want to risk any more controversy with minimal to no rewards. GTA Online has survived survived a disastrous launch phase and still thrive today and since GTA 6 is still years away. Rockstar will want to keep on supporting GTA Online until GTA 6 is out, if only to use it as a way to sustain itself as it experiments with potential new features for the incoming GTA game like fast travel. So it's a done deal. No more crypto in GTA Online. That's a wrap. As blockchain technology continues to grow in popularity, 
new developments have led to a rise in software use cases. One such example is Magic Eden, whose goal is to make it easy to purchase or mint NFTs on their platform. Magic Eden started as a Solana NFT marketplace, but it rose to dominance quickly. In August, the $1.6 billion startup adopted Ethereum, which is the largest overall NFT ecosystem. Now it's expanding again, but this time to Polygon. Magic Eden announced that it will add support for NFT assets minted on Polygon, an Ethereum sidechain scaling network. Polygon offers a faster, cheaper alternative to Ethereum's main net, making it an ideal option for projects that require large amounts of digital assets. Magic Eden picked Polygon for its next addition due to two primary factors. COO and co-founder Josh and Yin told Decrypt the platform's potential for large-scale Web3 gaming via the platform and growing adoption by major Web2 brands, and due to the fact Reddit's NFTs are surging as Polygon-based avatars reach millions of new users. The marketplace announcement follows a string of brand announcements around Polygon. Meta recently tapped Polygon to mint NFTs directly from Instagram. Starbucks is building a loyalty rewards program with Polygon, and Nike is building a platform for digital apparel on it. Polygon has become the go-to platform for Web2 brands looking to step into the Web3 world. What exactly does Magic Eden see in it? Polygon is one of the major up-and-coming platforms for NFT-powered video games. Decentraland and The Sandbox, two metaverse games, have used Polygon for NFTs, and a slew of upcoming projects are building on it. Gaming is a major focus for Magic Eden, and Yin said the company is betting on Polygon to drive that market. We expect high-quality Polygon games to come online in the next year, and are excited to bring those to market in a way that no market marketplace has before, Yin told Decrypt. We're still in the beginning stages of mass adoption for blockchain games, and we're excited to partner with Polygon to bring an exciting new wave of Web3 games to market. Magic Eden claimed several game developers are jumping on board its marketplace, including Bora, IntelliX, Inway, Block Games, Boomland, and Taunt Battle World. The marketplace is planning on integrating Polygon's assets before the end of the year. The NFT market experienced a surge in activity across 2020 21, generating $25 billion in trading volume by the year's end, with the CEO of Magic Eden saying it was very natural to expand from its Solana token to Ethereum NFTs. As we've said, Magic Eden has largely ruled the Solana space, but its reign was briefly interrupted in September and October after competitors rejected creator royalties, which led to cheaper transactions for traders. Magic Eden then followed many of its competitors in making creator royalties optional for traders and quickly reclaimed a 90% plus share of the Solana market. Game on! Before we wrap up the video, let's talk about the top NFT game of 2022. Specific platforms have positioned themselves as the main highlight of the NFT gaming market because they have effectively combined NFTs with popular game themes. These games are at the forefront of the current NFT game trends. The leader of the pack, Gods Unchained. Gods Unchained is a free-to-play card trading game that combines elements of non-fungible tokens, NFTs, with a regular card trading game. Players purchase cards from other players or earn them by winning PvP bouts, typically decided by the quality of the cards and their owner's gaming ability. Other top contenders include Splinterlands, like Gods Unchained, it's a card game in which players can earn money by playing, and you are awarded when you win card matches. Battle Racers This game is a cryptocurrency that may be used in Decentraland. F1, Delta Time, Racetracks, Racing Vehicles, and their tires and accessories are among the valuable items in the game. And Crypto Kitties, a play-to-earn Ethereum-based game with a straightforward scenario. Breed cats on digital networks. Let us know if you've ever played any of them by leaving a comment below. The future of NFT games is pretty promising. Rewards await. Nevertheless, finding the best NFT marketplace development services is also crucial because there are a lot of sorts of NFT games, including fighting games and farming games. There are numerous options for those who want to develop their own NFT games. But GTA fans don't panic. The traditional gaming industry is expected to yield nearly $200 billion in revenue in 2022, and it's not showing any signs of slowing down. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next video.